<laughs> Welcome, MuseCon patrons, nurturing our muses, whoever you are. Wait, wasn't that entertaining our muses last year? Hmm. Well, something different next year. Pretty nice place, uh, this uh, venue, Northwestern, uh, Western Chicago Northwest here in Itasca. Cool place, let's hear it. Good place. <laughs> so how's everyone enjoying the relatively cool weather here in Itasca? <laughs> Was it too hot? We are, uh, we've been hoping it doesn't rain all day and we're continuing to hope. Get through the show and everything, so let's keep it clear. <laughs> Okay, so uh, who are we? We combine uh, technology, science, and music to bring you high-tech edutainment. We have two humongous computer-controlled Tesla coils that generate 12-foot lightning bolts and play music. Pretty cool. We have a guy in a metal suit. That's me. I do really cool stuff with the hot white plasma. We are the masters of lightning. So my name is Terry Blake. I work at Motorola during the daytime, but at night I put on this suit and play with lightning. I wanted to call myself something uh, better than just Terry Blake at night, so I had some, some names, had some rejects. We had the Captain Corona was one, uh, Admiral Ark, another one, Lightning Man. Uh, second place was Frank Zapper. It's not too bad. But I went with Dr. Zeus, named after the guy that throws lightning bolts down at us uh, during the storms. No, I'm not a real doctor, only play doctor on the weekends, like, like here. Uh, so let me introduce some of the uh, other people supporting the show tonight. At the uh, control table over there, we have uh, Jeff Larson uh, from a Fermi Lab, and uh, next to him we have uh, Mike Wren. And uh, going to the other side, we have Todd Johnson. Yay! A little further down, I see we have a Mary Lynn Johnson, Yay! and uh, we have a Brian Peterson. Uh, let's see, there we have Doug Wewell and a Paul Guidarini. Big, big, big cast of people to help us out out there. So yeah, thanks for the big hand. So uh, lastly, you know, we do have a lot of experience with this. Do not attempt it at home, uh, but uh, you, know, you can try it here, actually, because uh, we've got this audience participation part of the show where uh, we've constructed this one-size-fits-all suit uh, that kind of looks like, uh, like, a, like a cage over there. So uh, we call it uh, the uh, cage of death, but uh, for insurance purposes, it's known as the super happy fun box. It keeps, it keeps the rates down. Uh, so anyway, uh, so uh, you get in there, and then we'll uh, well, we'll do a normal show for about a half hour. Then we'll put the cage right here in between the Tesla coils, and, and you can come come in here, and you could get pounded by 24,000 watts of electricity for 60 seconds. And uh, so it's like five bucks for adults, two bucks for kids, and we give you a cool ribbon that says "I survived the cage of death," so you can stick that on your ribbon stack there. Uh, so anyway, how about we do a little bit more uh, cool musical sparks, some Beverly Hills Cop. How about that? I do 